I'm Yasmin Anen with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, his son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned winners of the Crown Prince a Horse Race Cup held on Rashid Equestrian Club in Sakhir this afternoon. This was in the presence of the head of the National Guard, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. Present were also head of the Royal Equestrian Federation and Endurance Race, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the diplomatic corps and horse racing fans.
At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman crowned the winners of the race. He congratulated horse owners, trainers and riders on their achievements and lauded the fine organization of the race, as well as the efforts of Sheikh Rashid's equestrian club, wishing them every success. Horse racing fans and families flock to the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club to watch top international and local jockeys vying for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup. First on to the track were the apprentice jockeys, all aspiring young Bahrainis hoping to make their name in the world of horse racing. A final spurt before the finish gave victory to Ali Hassan on board the Irish bred Android, trained by Jalil Al Muller and owned by Al Muller Syndicate. It was a good race. I started to keep my horse up to two four length. Uh, in the beginning, the race was a bit fast, so I tried to keep my horse up to last two four length, uh, based on the instruction from the trainer. So yeah, I've done very well job. The second race for the Bahrain Oaks drew a field of four, all trained by James Naylor. Alberto Sana and Hamila pushed through at the finish, denying Itizan the win. Today it was quite a hard race, quite tough because uh, they make slow pace in the beginning and uh, 700 meter to the racing post they accelerate too quick and uh, make me in big trouble but uh, in the end uh, she has a big heart and uh, she won the race third race over 1400 meters drew a field of 10 bahraini wahoo arabian horses and eight international jockeys Last year's winner Luke Morris was keen to defend his title with Al Saqlawi 1517. Um, I'm in the Arab race again on, on board Al Saqlawi, who, who I won on last year. So you know it's exciting to be back back on her. And um, fingers crossed, she's got a good chance again. And then um, got Rocket Boy in the the local bread and um, pleasure event her road last year in the um, in the main race. So uh, you know hopefully they've all got good chances. And um, fingers crossed we can get a winner or two. But it was Alberto Sana who took the trophy with Obayan 1620, trained by Abdullah Kuwaiti and owned by Al Mir. Star attraction of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup was world champion jockey Frankie de Tori, who enjoyed a fabulous season after his trips to Bahrain last year. I have a degree year 2015, probably my best, obviously, Golden Horn. Best horse in the world, uh, won the Arc de Triomphe, the Derby, so fantastic. This I must go because I've got a rider. A photo finish in the fourth race for local bred horses gave the win to Frankie and Night and Day, trained by Alan Smith and owned by Al Nasseria. The fifth and final race was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's Cup for imported horses, and Frankie de Tori was eager to retain his crown with last year's champion Bartak. Yeah, well, we, you know, he won this race last year. We had to uh, defend our title. Um, I don't know about the opposition, but uh, he's one of the favourites. He should run a big race. Another exciting race ended with a second win for Frankie and for trainer Abdullah Kuwaiti, a second flying dismount to thrill the crowds and a promise to come back to Bahrain very soon. The Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at Isa Air Base today in the presence of the Royal Guard Special Forces Commander, Major His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. A number of participants in the Bahrain Defence Force Task currently taking part in the operation Restoring Hope in Yemen within the Saudi-led Arab coalition. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed them and thanked them for their dedication in carrying out their sacred national duty alongside their brethren in the Saudi-led Arab coalition to support legitimacy in brotherly Yemen. His Highness loaded their noble sacrifices as well as their courage and heroism while undertaking their national duty to defend the right and support efforts to restore legitimacy to Yemen. Present were the Deputy Commander of the Royal Guard, Brigadier General Hamad Al Naimi, senior BDF officers, and family members of the task force's personnel.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, and Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Commander Akhal Dia Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who arrived in Bahrain to participate in the King's Endurance Race Camp. His Highness welcomed Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed, underlining the importance of the participation of the UAE riders in the King's Endurance Race Camp, which would give the race an additional technical character. He briefed His Highness Sheikh Hamdan on the preparations for the races and actions taken by the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation and working committees. He also underlined the distinguished brotherly relations between Bahrain and the UAE in all fields. And for his part, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed expressed his deep appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for the warm reception, stressing the strong ties between the two countries, especially in sports. He said the participation of UAE riders along with their Bahraini counterparts will be a fertile place to compete and to highlight the progress of endurance race in both countries. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the King's Endurance Race Cup for the distance of 120 kilometers and the international qualifying race for 80 kilometers will be launched at Bahrain Endurance Village tomorrow with the participation of riders from the UAE. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Commander of Khaldiya Stables, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and President of Royal Bahrain Endurance Federation, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, attended the veterinary examination for the race today. The organizational committee completed all required technical and administrative arrangements to ensure the success of the race. His Highness Sheikh Nasser emphasized the importance for royal team cavaliers and local stables to take the initiative to present the best results that enrich the endurance racing process, which is considered the strongest in the local endurance racing season. He said the King's Endurance Cup Championship is expected to see huge success, especially as the working committees have always been keen on completion of all relevant matters in terms of meticulous organization and the provision of all the requirements for its success. He added that he has confidence in the local stables riders and the royal team to achieve spectacular positive results in this beloved strong endurance race. And for his part, the commander of the stables of Haldia said that the race will be a strong and exciting one and that this race comes as an emphasis on the readiness of the horsemen and the horses for the race.